We all feel the effects of this cold weather, but for the homeless, it can be even more brutal. Kayla Strayer live from downtown Chattanooga with a look at how the homeless in our area are coping with the cold right now. Kayla. Yeah, Josh, Latricia, it is no joke. I've been standing outside for about 10 minutes now and it is freezing right behind me. The Chattanooga Community Kitchen. Some of the homeless come here for a hot meal and to get inside. There is an overnight shelter here, but still some people that I've been talking to say they are going to take their chances and battle the cold outside. I met Thomas Graham today as he sat on the sidewalk outside the Chattanooga Community Kitchen. I got on uh, three coats, two sweaters, two pair of pants, and four pair of socks. He's been homeless for two years. It's not an easy life, but add on below freezing temperatures, plus getting sick with bronchitis, things go from bad to worse. But I'm getting too old for it. How old are you? 51. I feel like 101. I shouldn't be out here. Thomas comes inside the Chattanooga Community Kitchen to sit down for a hot meal. Try to get something to eat and try to stay warm because everything's closed down. Hey, hey, hey. Happy New Year. Debbie Martin volunteers at the kitchen every week. She says the cold is bringing more people in. Well, it's a place where a smile goes a long way, you know, and just, just uh, recognizing people for being a person. Back outside, Tammy Faye is doing her best to stay warm. She's been homeless for a month now. Freezing, feeling like it's needles, somebody's taking knives, cutting your hands, your feet, your face, your stomach. It, it, it just feels like somebody's, I mean, tearing you all to pieces. How are you surviving right now? <laughs> I don't know. Just a strong spirit, I guess. And Thomas tells me he is an ex felon. He says that's part of the problem reason why he is homeless. It's hard for him to get a job, but I do want to remind you that there are overnight shelters for people to go. They can stay inside at the Chattanooga Community Kitchen. If this fills up, then the Salvation Army opens up their cold weather shelter for overnight. Of course, there are rules to be followed, but still anyone who's willing to follow those rules will have a warm place to go. Reporting live in Chattanooga, Kayla Strayer.